there's no such thing as work-life balance. None! Hey, cunts. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Yeah. How did you make your fucking money, Dan? I need to know. We can't be losers forever. Mm -hmm. Was it night shift merch? Probably not. No, it's, it, it's it, you know, again, money's not everything. It's the only thing anybody keeps track of. But uh, I, um, the, uh, so I, <laughs> it was either I was going to go to, uh, I got arrested five times uh, and I got in a lot of trouble. And so I volunteered to go into the army in 1966. And in their infinite wisdom, the Congress of the United States uh, deemed me an officer and a gentleman. I went to OCS, became an officer. And my life changed. It turned me around. I became an officer, a leader of men. Did you go to Nam? Uh, no, didn't go to Nam. I was. Did you have shin splints? Huh? Did you have shin splints? No, I don't have shin splints. <laughs> I do. But I, I, I went to uh, NATO. I was Horrible. at NATO, NATO headquarters in, in Germany. Uh, not in Germany, actually Brussels, but I was stationed in Germany. But I now have artificial knees. Oh, oh my son! My son thinking I, about I want, getting those. I want, artificial, I want an artificial shoulders. ankle. But I got, I got to tell you, Dan. Every time I ask you how you make money, you, you say you got in a lot of trouble and you like the army. Yeah. I need a fucking answer. Okay, I made the money. I went into the oil business. I went to investment banking. I went to Bear Stearns on Wall Street, Wall Street firm. And I saw meatheads, kind of like you, yeah. making tens of millions of dollars. They couldn't uh, wipe my, my ass. They went to sweat off my balls. I left Wall Street firm and I went in the oil business. And um, the rest is more or less history.